No, hello guys. Good afternoon everyone. How's your life? How's it going? How are you guys doing? Hello? Oh, uh, hello. Alright, that's gonna be a little short about the stream today. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Oh, there's gonna be one. Eh? Hello guys. Hello. Good afternoon. How's it going? Kishpir, Enik, Hey Portable, Hey Pony, Dorksel, Even today after all, yeah, then wasn't it uh, in my schedule for like a whole week, <laughs> basically. Uh, below the stream, and on Twitter, and on Discord, and on Telegram, and in Tidal also. So, I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying to communicate, <clears throat> not to mention mentioning it on stream all the time, right? I do be trying to communicate it regularly, but let me know if you need some other platforms, uh, what I should update you, uh, that will be, uh, that would be available to you. Ooh, right. Hey, Steve, the hello. Hey, Sock. Hello guys, hello. <laughs> the phone call also, yeah, exactly, exactly. Alright, so yeah, today's gonna be a very short one. Uh, it's still, actually, I have no fucking idea exactly what is up. Uh, imagine having plans, dude. Imagine having plans. And he's like, where was it? 2 a.m. Today already, basically, right? The message like, all right, I I, I fucked I fucked your New Year's, so how about we go uh, like to uh, the, some, the the countryside house for some barbecue later? And I'm waking up seeing all this shit like 8 a.m. 8:30, <laughs> and he's already like, all right, plans are changing again. So are you coming? Well, kinda I guess, but I will see later today. And well, it's already like 4 p.m. almost. And still no updates, I have no idea, so I just was like, alright, let's just, I'll just stream, I'll just cook, my other friend will just arrive, if that third dude is arriving, good, if not, then whatever, we're just gonna, you know, just gonna drink, just gonna eat, hang out, and uh, then you're probably gonna peace out, like, a bit earlier, and uh, tomorrow will be a little easier to wake up and everything, and there's still a bunch of shit to do. So yeah, now let's get the coffee going first. I haven't ate anything today, I haven't drank anything today except for water, so I want to get some coffee, some snack. Then we're gonna make some a classic New Year's uh, Mayo Madness Olivia salad. As always, uh, it's pretty quick, it's pretty fast, pretty simple. So I'm gonna do that. And then, yeah, then I'm basically gonna just call it suddenly something like goes completely south again i wouldn't be surprised already <clears throat> then yeah then i just i guess go live again or something we'll see let's see uh the unlicensed booming devices what you mean shoe mean a clapping a baking chicken how original them son we just have some sausage basically i'm just gonna grill some sausage I was thinking about getting some of uh, the fireworks, the like fucking package of fireworks is like 20 bucks, man. Like, do I look like an idiot to spend uh, <clears throat> that money on some fucking fireworks and just gonna pee pee poof in the air? Fuck no. We used to buy those back in the day, but back then they were, you know. For like 20 bucks, basically, you could get like a bag of different, uh, of different fireworks. Hey, Gilbert. That was kind of fun. Almost like set the neighbor's balcony on fire once. It was interesting. It was nice. But, yeah. Nowadays, it's just way too expensive. It was nice in childhood, though. That was fun. The police called the us back in the day. I guess people thought there was like a shootout or something going, and that was just my my rich friend uh, who bought us a whole bunch of 
like just primitive uh, primitive uh, fireboys that were just doing boom basically but there was a lot of them <laughs> so we're fucking exploding stuff for a while <laughs> see so all right well <laughs> i was growing up in 90s here in the early 2000s so you can get anything <laughs> Fireworks, cigarettes, booze, yeah. no problem there. Yeah. Nice clapping, nice. I think some fish, I'll say. Well, we're gonna have some fish. Uh, the cloak one. Or like brine one, I guess. I've decided to get some fancy shit. I was thinking about caviar, but then yeah, then I was looking at the prices. And I decided this year this tradition is not gonna continue. Alright. And well I, that's probably for the better because yeah, no idea still. What is gonna be up even with people who's coming and everything and 2nd of January is gonna be just like a bunch of people probably and it will be just drinking mostly so don't need anything fancy for that really not to mention I'm kind of like banking for this one especially since you know barely barely getting people to appear now I guess that's just that's just on me thank you Doixo thank you thank you for participating in it it's good, it's good. At least like a few times a year you can you can get some a uh, huge huge months. Feels good, eh? Sure is nice. Sure is nice. Alright, let's get some chicory. Just kinda trying to finish the bag here. What I made it. But yeah, thank you for participating in the golem. And the salon tree will keep uh, keep her working for the time being. Because holidays here just kind of getting started today, basically. <laughs> Gonna be around for a while. And yeah, we'll see like about the next week too. So far, it seems like Monday and Tuesday will be off. But we'll see. There might be something else. I'm not sure. Because yeah, that friend that potentially might be ditching today. He also was thinking about going to the countryside house. But we'll see. We might kind of just delay it for later. Like later in January. Especially when it's colder and stuff. Because right now weather is a garbo. It's just way too warm. And going to the countryside is way better when it's cold, eh? More authentic, you know. All right. I'm done clapping. It was bad, man. Server is taking a beating. Eh? I probably got a lot of people getting that for free. Probably a whole bunch. And then people getting it on sale. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that is very unfortunate. Kadek, hello. Happy almost 2023 to you too, man. <clears throat> Hopefully 2023 will be better. Twenty twenty is going to shit for three years already. A bit too much, a bit too much, a bit too long. A little too long. Eh? 2020 is overstaying as welcome. Eh? Let's put it that way. 
All right, get that one second. I'm gonna go uh, wash the gear in Durham. And the grinder port. Time to skip to 2030, yeah. Exactly, yeah. We'll see if that will help. I'm gonna be getting out of your like the cryo the cryo a camera or something to realize shit is completely fucked. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, wouldn't surprise me, but I mean, we'll figure, we'll figure. That's all right. I suspect it's gonna be a lot of molding, but I'm already adapted to this shit. Well, I mean, I guess for a while, to be honest. Uh, the only times when things are kind of decent are probably in like 2010 or something, 2012, eh? Those are good times, eh? There we go, alright. This cleaned. But I guess 2019 was nice too. That was quite a good one. Not those streaming again on Kishpi? Could be, could be. Could be. We'll see. I mean, we'll go there probably, but yeah, we'll see about streaming from there. 2017 was the last one, let's see. 2019 was good because that was like... 18 I started streaming, then 19 everything was, you know, kind of still very... Nice and full of rainbows and conventions for me started and stuff, and that was very cool. <clears throat> that was a very nice year, and then after that, poof, gone. Eh? And then after that, it was all gone. Eh? All right, get this on. Yeah, yeah, it was 2019, yeah. I basically, like, 2019 was remember, my first conventions, first convention a year. Yeah, it was TwitchCon, DreamHack. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much. It was, like, three times I went to conventions that, that year. That was quite something. That was very good, then. Eh? Too right. There we go. Let's see what is up. See what is up. And then, yeah, then, 2020 arrived, then. Eh? That was a worse. That was a worse. Even though, in the hindsight, you know, <clears throat> I would take 2020, like, three times, eh? instead of the 2022, that's for sure. There we go. There we go, um, quite something, overall it's alright, I guess, I just hope I'll be able to, to get my friends on a board, with some crazy plans and some shit, and, uh, and then it will be alright, I'm just gonna join one of my friends who is in Uzbekistan now or something, even though part when they sometimes in winter have electricity shortage at night, that doesn't sound that good eh? for streaming especially, but you know. We'll see. Hey Brew, hello. How we doing, man? There we go. A new year all alone with cat, and that's uh, that's not too bad. Eh? That's a good company. It's a good company. Oh, you also have a chat. You have a cat. You have chat. You look good. 
I don't even like stream on this New Year's too, but like I really, I really was looking forward to. Already was like you know in the mood basically to to hang out and together, even though it's probably gonna be just two of us most likely because third guy still no updates. That's still good. Eh? That's still good. Eh? I'll take it. And not too bad, and not too bad. Ura, let's see what is up. We bought these up. Wait, what the fuck? They leaked Horizon Forbidden West also. Sort of like the, the early version. Dude, what is what is up? And what exactly did get like or who exactly got like hacked or something? There's so much shit being leaked. That was mostly old stuff though before, like the Duke Nukem Forever old build and stuff like this. What is up now? Nice, very nice. Sounds like a plan. Portable, sounds like a plan. That's gonna make some Olivia salad there. Wait for my friend to arrive. Eh? Probably in like one and a half hours I'm gonna arrive. Eh? Then yeah, then we're just gonna drink some beer, eat some food, eh? talk about stuff, and yeah, then after midnight basically just some champagne and uh, he's probably gonna go home. And I'm gonna go sleep. And tomorrow we stream. That's pretty much it. Next week gonna be nice though, it's gonna be a bunch of the laboratory stuff. And with all the different branches of family and friends and everything, that's good then. It's gonna be a bunch of day offs next week, sadly, but well, it is what it is. Eh? Then we'll see, I'm just gonna hope to, to get some recharge. Eh? Just need all this holiday stuff, like all this planning and everything was was a bit annoying and pity again, especially since it's kind of in vain in the end. Eh? So I just want that to be over. Then we get back to uh, the plan. Back to the usual stuff. Uh, more boomer games. End of January is gonna be some, some game dev fiesta also, so it's gonna be nice. Uh, New Year is gonna be good. Eh? Yeah, one way or another. A big celebration? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Well, now this year according even to like the, the, so the sociology and everything. People are not very in the mood, eh? surprisingly. Surprisingly. And just kind of for us more usually better stuff is after new year's when we already gather with friends and everything because the new year's is hard to arrange a lot of people everyone has plans now this year also we have like one guy who who ran to uzbekistan recently so he's there now some people working some people like with family and stuff so it's hard to gather people all the time so usually just during holidays we are like someday when we actually manage to gather everyone. Well, at least maybe not everyone. Obviously dude from Uzbekistan is not coming back anytime soon. I think he already even like booked the on the consulate slot there in Uzbekistan just to get the international passport renewed there. So he doesn't need to go here. Totally not looking forward eh? <laughs> to go back. All right, and we'll see. 
it would be kind of nice if next year I'll manage to join, maybe. That would be good. That would be very good. Yeah, let's get some snack. I haven't ate anything today. To be honest, I was like cleaning all day. So, <clears throat> cleaning and molding at my friend, uh, what he's planning. So, I didn't even feel hungry yet, really. Not yet. Didn't even like, dry the hair yet, still. So. The folks there. The bang, bang, bangs have a holidays that hard. I knew you like like holidays and Sundays in Germany, but not to that extent. Not to that extent. No, I see stay for three days already, damn. And that sounds like a few years now. Hmm. Feels good. Alright. Let's see, the Horizon Forbidden West got leaked. All right, even that, the alpha version. I'll see what else. The Stardew Valley dev delayed the update for mobile, mobile version and no one actually molded it out. Damn, imagine, imagine news like that. Imagine that should be news nowadays. Huh? <clears throat> So people instead of um, instead of molding about delayed update, actually thank him for his work. That's pretty nice. See that possible. That's what you can achieve if you you know you make good games and that are straightforward and fair. <clears throat> you buy it, and you play it. No microtransactions, no DLCs. Price is good. You know, people saying thank you instead of fuck you. And that's nice. That is nice. All right. And then with the cool theme. Now let's get through that and use them. The rest of it. Uh, some more insiders saying that Redfall uh, uh, will actually be out in the beginning of May. There is also expected the early access to the game. So I guess like the pre-order, pre-launch something. So you can play earlier if you pre-order or some shit. Or maybe like the the Dark Tide way or something. Which, I mean, pre-order and play earlier too. Next year, Seven Max at Devil's Playhouse will get the remaster. Uh, more of them remasters, man. Creators of Cult of the Lamb teased the, the new big update. That will add the heavy attacks to the game, all right. Now one per weapon type. Yeah, it's good, they're still working on it. Now what else do we have, huh? Oh, the leak, the leak unveiled the, the the real name of Project Sakura and Silent Hill the short message. There is even the story description already. Oof, man. What's with the leaks, dude? Uh, it says someone got some clone die there or something. 
<laughs> Here's this alone. All right, and there. Uh, what else? What else? Well, I mean, typical holidays and not really much going on. Yeah, you can get the uh, Daymare 1998 for free on GOG. I think it still is. I haven't checked actually. It's horror stuff. It's not exactly what I play, so whatever, but still. Still. Enthusiast show the, the early version of VR mode for a Death Stranding with first uh, person view. Stem Sun. The Death Stranding VR. Eh? And also, it's like one week delay for the Stardew Valley patch, all right? Have new content and stuff, too, I see. Uh, the free Goose clone of Amogus became a hit in Steam. The peak online is over 400,000 people. What the fuck, man? All you need to do is just to make, make a free, the free take on Amogus. Done. The creator of puzzles, The Witness and Braid, says that Elden Ring doesn't have any design. I mean, game design, I guess, or something? Hey, Nicolo. All right, yeah, I see. So there's like no game design. And just a big map full of bosses. And only the scale is making it interesting and impressive. Huh? And the amount of content is the reason why there is no actual design. We just dropped a bunch of shit in the bag, so here you go. Take that bag, yeah? Damn son. <laughs> they keep molding, man. They keep molding. All right, Somerville stuff we saw yesterday. I'll see. See, see, I see the Mogus power. The huge scale, nothing was impressive about it. But I mean, maybe that's also part of the, you know, like. Like, it's not exactly like good or bad design, or like, existence or uh, the lack of design, it's just, you know, the way the design was made. <clears throat> like, sometimes, you know, the lack of something is also kind of part of that, or like, the actual something, right? Basically what uh, Third Musk was talking about when uh, yesterday we were talking about, uh, what was the name, Shadow of Colossus, right? <clears throat> like even some people even appreciate just pure emptiness, right? They don't need to put too much like detail and stuff into that. Some people find that design and good design too, by the way. <clears throat> I mean, the, the the thing is, is like, it also was interesting though. Not for everyone, right? Like some people didn't like it. Some people didn't like that concept, but for the majority of people, right? That was interesting. So that means, you know, Maybe it's not the lack of design or bad design. Maybe it is a good design, just not your average traditional design. 
like it doesn't hold your hand and doesn't like show you all the attractions in the in the park right it's just kind of like here you go there is a park it's fucking huge do whatever you want <clears throat> that's also not too bad that is also not too bad i feel and maybe that is uh, the part of the game design But yeah, the huge scale, I mean, huge scale for some people even kind of downside, really. And that's a commitment, after all. That's a commitment. No, I just, no, I haven't, I haven't. I, I'm like, I'm really not super into just pure tactics, like turn-based tactics. Like, I love turn-based tactics. I played a lot of games like that. But I almost always play it as a part of uh, some, like, RPG or something. Like Pathfinder, Fallout, uh... Shadowrun, Wasteland, right? Like, they all have, like, the tactical turn-based combat, and I like it, but, like, playing separately the game that has tactical turn-based as the main thingy, I kind of, like, never did. Like, XCOM, for example, like, I don't know, just, like, if I want to play something like that, I would just probably, like, start another RPG with tactical turn-based combat as a part of it. <clears throat> well, game, a little ring, held in ring. Yeah, pony, yeah, exactly. Sacrifice the actual dungeons for some shitty open world. I mean, kinda, kinda. I mean, you could combine that. You could combine that. No, RPG elements, I mean, like, RPG elements are like an XCOM 2, right? Like, characters and everything, different weapons, different builds. I mean, like, the, the actual RPG, you know, like, the heavy story, dialogue, decision-making, all that stuff, like, multi-layered thing. <clears throat> so, like, when it's just purely tactical, turn-based, I mean... Maybe, but yeah, not sure. We'll see. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. I still have too many, like, actual RPGs to play. But yeah, that's, that's what the, the designer says, though. That says there's no design. They just, like, put a bunch of stuff in the bag, and here you go, take the bag. But the thing is, like, I'm pretty sure there's, like, already plenty of stuff like that that people, you know, just didn't like. People didn't like a lot of, um, uh, you know, hand-holding, like take Far Cry and stuff. Well, I mean, wouldn't really say didn't like, it still sells and stuff, right? It's just like uh, making it without hand-holding is even harder. And there shouldn't be an open world in the first place. I mean, kind of, yeah, I guess, I guess. I think that was just kind of like their way. Like, technically, you could say that the older games almost are kind of open world, right? I, I still haven't played Elden Ring, right? I can't really, like, judge on how, like, the world goes there in terms of, like, can you just literally go anywhere, <clears throat> you know? Because, like, in, in, some, in some of the Souls games, you need some particular things, right? You need to, like, ring the bells and stuff like this to get into some areas, for example, right? So, like... You could say it's kind of like Metroidvania-ish, -ish, I guess, kind of, right? Because you can't make anywhere with, uh, without getting some of the things. Uh, but it's still kind of open world, though. It's like open world with the hub, for example, right? <clears throat> but you still kind of can go in different places and everything. It's just like the scale is smaller, so it doesn't feel like it's your open world where, like, planes and to ride a horse there, right? Casey Green, hello. Happy New Year to you too, sir. Thank you, thank you. Casey Green, him. Size was perfect for what the game was, no reason to go bigger. But I, I think they basically just, what, what they did is they just appealed to what people wanted. A lot of people. They just wanted a lot of souls. Huh? More and a lot. And they just kind of, here you go, take it. And it went well. I mean, they did experiment with that, right? Take Bloodborne, for example. <laughs> Still see it. Uh, take Bloodborne with the Chalice Dungeons or something. It was there. What was good, kinda, I guess, and why people didn't shit over Bloodborne over that, 
is that they were optional mostly. Well, all of them were optional really. Uh, and even if you want to go for full play through all achievements, you need to do only some specific ones <laughs> in specific like order. Basically, you need to do them, and then you get all achievements, and you can not touch them ever again, really. <laughs> Well, Red Dead Redemption is a different story, though, for sure. That's a very, very, uh, like, deep, you know, uh, detailed uh, open world, that's for sure. No, it's not even, like, the, the praising the pointless world. It's just, like, the, the game design. Is it really, like, that bad? You can say there's lack of game design, I guess, but maybe that's actually the, the part of game design. Just, you know, kind of making it all like that. And people still enjoy it, then, you know then you can consider that being a game design, right? I have nothing against uh, fast travel, though, I would say. It, it, it depends. Like, it, the good example of, like, when fast travel is uh, actually good is New World. Because uh, they were thinking, all right, you need to, like, we're going to make fast travel really, like, expensive and really rare. Uh, so people, you know engage with the world and run through it and everything right and then they realize that like no one wants to like if there is nothing to do nothing to engage with then people just rather fast travel for example <clears throat> like they thought there will be like all the open world pvp and everything and obviously no one like who's just running from point a to point b with loot they don't want to engage in any pvp they just want to get from point a to point b they don't give a fuck so yeah it's 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 not always uh, like that crazy good to you on like just remove the the fast travel and stuff like the true open world and stuff and the needless open uh, adding of open world uh, that that I agree sometimes sometimes it is not really needed. You know, see, so I see. And this guy also has just teleport shit. I mean, I don't, as I said, I don't really mind the fast travel, but I guess when it's like more, like kind of more of India, like with the. With the striders and everything, yeah, I guess it kind of like at least it like makes more sense. It just kind of feels more natural. You actually pay for the boat or pay for the strider, right? Which I mean, is still the same stuff in the end, right? It's just kind of limitations. So you need to like do some few jumps, for example, to get to some place. And well, I guess you need to go to the, the town also, or like do the recall or whatever, just to get there. <laughs> so that kind of does uh, does make a bit of a difference. All right, let's finish with this stuff and uh, uh, start the cooking. I can talk in the process anyway, so that we don't waste time because, yeah, like an hour already, something my friend might arrive at. All right. New game from Until Dawn authors for, for PSVR 2 will have enemies that will be reacting to a player blinking. All right. Interesting. I installed the mod for that, I see. Oh, the creators of uh, Witcher Origins were accused in the plagiarism of some, some artist works. All right. And the game is farming ills, man. A oh, game, I mean, show. Show keeps farming them ills, I see there. In the dev, hello. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it to you too, man. To you too. Um, this year sadly was anything but amazing, but you know, I'm here, I live, I have double my survival goal this month, and uh, you know, about to make some food, but that means I have some food. 
Life's good. Life is not too bad. All right. Let's see. One second. I'm gonna up the title and let's go. Um. Let me check. Actually, any updates on the plans, though? Man, it's almost 5 p.m. This fuck didn't even bother to mention anything. 